This is still a top-class lineup, but the list of absentees is mind-boggling, as well as Ferguson and Van Bronckhorst, Klaus Moore, Vidmar, Alberts, Reina, Johnston and Moles, all unavailable. And it's the first appearance at Ibrox for Jesper Christensen. The 22-year-old Danish squad keeper took his Rangers bow in the Champions League in midweek. Kilmarnock have to make one change from the team which beat St Mirren last Saturday and prolonged their unbeaten run. Paul Wright's injured and his replacement is Frenchman Christophe Cocard, starting for the first time since mid-August. One of the key players at the moment at the heart of the midfield is Alan Mahoud. He's featured in every game this season and the performance of Mahoud and Ian Durant could be crucial. Here's a player who's already done some damage against Rangers this season. Andy McLaren scored twice in the first meeting between these two and ended up on the losing side. The referee for Rangers, Kilmarnock, getting the game underway and he's been nominated to become a FIFA official is John Underhill. Crisis, what crisis, says Dick Advocat, despite the fact that Rangers have won only one of their last six games. They've scored only one goal in the last four. Hardly the form of champions. But most of the damage has been done away from here. Their record at Ibrox remains pretty much intact. 20 games unbeaten here. Ronald the Fur gets himself involved, sets up Kinchelskis. Early ball in for Wallace. Good challenge by Chris Innes. He was under real pressure there, was the Kilmarnock central defender. This was a good move from Rangers. Lots of pace about it from De Boer. Kinchelsk is into the middle. Willis almost there. And credit to Chris Innes that he wasn't. robbed him of possession Kukar trying to guide that away from the two guy this time Gary Holt loses possession to Amaruso good play from Rickson and the skipper Amaruso two guy against Mahoud neat exchange with De Boer that was in at Wallace Innes again, the interceptor. Dundalo's pass finds its way through to Kukar. Against Amoruso. Now McLaren. And Kukar! Five minutes gone. Christoph Kukar threatening to add to Rangers' current misery. Less than a thousand Kilmarnock fans in the stadium, but they're all on their feet. There's a stunned silence in the rest of the stadium as that little one-two between Kokar and McLaren carved open the Rangers' defence. Perfectly simple from a Kilmarnock point of view. Kokar's first goal of the season. He hasn't been in the side since August. He certainly remembered that score. Not a pleasing start for the Rangers' manager who described the performance last Sunday against St. Johnson as one of the worst in his time here, and he doesn't want to repeat of that. Kokar, good control, and held it up well for Gary Holtz. Off Amoruso. McPherson for Holtz. Did well to get that in. Watched very carefully by Jesper Christensen. Sloppy stuff from Rangers. A lack of cohesion between goalkeeper and his defence there. And the combination of Rickson and Amoruso handing possession back to Kilmarnock. man sitting up in the stand just right of center the Kilmarnock manager Bobby Williamson will be well pleased with what he's seen so far the 
difficult pass from Durant to Holt. But Kilmonic still have it. Andy McLaren. Decent enough strike, but yes, where Christensen looked fairly comfortable, but that one was heading wide. He did score twice against Rangers on the 5th of August in Kilmonic's 4-2 defeat. So Rangers know all about the threat he poses. Two guys pass for uh, Rickson. He's always asking a lot. Rangers making things difficult for themselves. McLaren to Mitchell. Andy McLaren again. Chance to create more trouble for Rangers. This time, Jesper Christensen read it at the near post. It was intended for Kokar at the far post. The pass from Mitchell there taking out two Rangers players, Perini and Contamon. in fields two guy looking for Kanchelskis the wet topped to the turf always made Gordon Marshall a favourite here because the pass gathered pace as it went Rangers come again with Borini and Kanchelskis combining Ripson. Maybe a bit fortunate there to get a free kick out of that when he seemed to be heading nowhere fast. Ian Durant getting involved in that little situation between Rickson and Mahoud. And the indication from Ian Durant is that Fernando Rickson took a dive. John Underhill having words with Rickson and Mahoud after this little incident. There was contact there from Mahoud on Rickson. Everyone back for Kilmarnock. And Marissa's free kick. Hanning back of Ali Mitchell, who, when the free kick was struck, must have been all of three yards away. Good challenge by Innes from De Boer. That's Amaruso. Chris Innes again. Andy McFarlane, good pass and good control from Cooker. Now looks for support. Determined play from Rickson, and again. The Rangers supporters responding to that. They haven't had too much to shout about so far. Chested down by Holt for Durant. And Gary Holt again, could be in here. He's in behind Arthur Newman. It's Holt! And it's 2-0! 32 minutes gone. Kilmarnock now with a two-goal lead. Rangers opened up right through the middle. Ian Durant's pass. And Gary Holt found a gaping hole in the Rangers' defence. He was in behind Arthur Newman. There was little Newman could do at this point. Composure from Holt. And Gary Holt's third goal of the season. As Kilmarnock 2-0 up at Ibrox. Amoruso's in trouble again. Showed too much of it to Kukar. Andy McLaren. Through the legs of Amoruso. And Andy McLaren was held back surely by Tugai. Well, I can't believe that. There's a flare up between Tugai and McLaren. Andy McLaren shakes his head towards the assistant referee on this side. And there was surely an infringement against McLaren here. Kukar left it to him. Andy McLaren raced towards the penalty box. There's the tug on his shirt from two guy a couple of yards outside the area. No free kick. And this was what happened afterwards. Arms raised between the two, an angry exchange. And two guy lucky to escape without a booking. Two guy again. Innes attacking the ball well. 
free kick given to Rangers against the challenge on Purini. A couple of yards outside the area. Direct play from Purini. And rewarded with a free kick here as the ball was bobbing around. He went for it and knocked over by Gary Hay. Rangers badly need to make something of this. De Bird is over the kick and Amoruso as well. De Bird's shot deflected off the wall. And that is Rangers' first corner kick of the match and with little more than seven minutes to go in the first half. Amoruso and Contamon up for the corner kick. But it didn't get near them. Gus McPherson headed it away. Arthur Newman trying to find Amoruso, but he was offside. Back heel from McLaren. Holtz header to Kukar. Back for Andy McLaren again. Good combination between the trio. Across beyond Christensen. And Ali Mitchell kept it in. For Gary Hay. One back by two guy. Flipped on by the Burr for Wallace. Rolling the Burr onto it. Free kick against Gary Holtz. Use of the shoulder against De Burr. Bobby Williamson having watched most of the first half not in the stand and in the touchline for the closing stages two guy to De Burr free kick against Ian Durant Ronald De Burr's free kick McPherson headed that away, Lorenzo Amoruso grounded, appealing towards John Underhill. No penalty, says the ref. Kinchelskis, that's for Wallace. Blocked by Dundala. Here's the corner. Innes with this header, and two guy almost into the top tier of the stand. Disappointed with that effort. And Lorenzo Amoruso disappointed that a penalty wasn't given here as he hit the ground under the challenge from McPherson and Innes. De Boer holding off Mahoud. Arthur Newman cuts inside Holt. Back to De Boer. Newman again. Andre Kinchelskis choosing to take that first time on the volley. Left to him by Rickson. And another shot off target. Rangers still to seriously test. Gordon Marshall. There's the half-time whistle. Rangers in trouble again. And a superb performance by Kilmarnock. They were up and running after five minutes when Christoph Kukar scored. Gary Holt made it two just after the half hour. Too easy for the visitors as they opened up the Rangers defence. A one-two between Kukar and McLaren, and this was a tap-in for the Frenchman for his first goal of the season. Rangers, in between times, unable to get any real efforts on goal, and Gary Holt raced away to make it two for Kilmarnock, 32 minutes on the clock, holding off the challenge of Arthur Newman to beat Jesper Christensen, and half-time at Ivory game, unbeaten run, which has got him up to third place in the SPL. And they look like trying to hang on to that position. <laughs> Our 
Mauritius header. Two guy got a touch. Durant to McLaren. An early chance to threaten. The cross plucked out of the air from McLaren by Christensen. Rob Wallace. Fernando Burr tries to create something, lovely ball in. And a real chance for Fernando Rickson. It's skidded away from Billy Dodds at the far post. But this was well set up for Rickson. Failed to get any contact. Two guys pass. Again, not threatening the Kilmarnock defence, one little bit. Durant to Mahoud. Now McLaren. Keeps on his feet despite two guys' challenge. And he's won it for Mahoud. Blocked by Christensen, another threat from Kilmarnock. And again, Andy McLaren right at the heart of it. Andy McLaren causing so many problems for Rangers. Twisting towards the penalty box and setting up Alan Mahoud with a crack at goal. That's a good save with his left foot from Jesper Christensen. Rickson got his head to it. Three dogs won the throw for Rangers. His tenacity was enough. Last touch off Dundala. Rickson for De Boer. good ball in, fumbled by Marshall, there's McCann, there's Miller, now Newman, desperate challenge from Mahoud, Neil McCann with another chance to create something, that's a good ball for the par, par post and Wallace, knocked away by Innes, Newman, that's a good header away by Gas McPherson, Mitchell de Kukar. After the Rangers pressure, comes the Kilmarnock attack, Contevin's lost it in a dangerous position. McLaren! Too high. A chance there to punish some casual stuff from Bert Contevin. Possession given away in what could have been a crucial area. McLaren couldn't keep his shot down. Gordon Marshall going unpunished here as Rangers put together one of their few threats on goal. Got down to it, but it fell on the right side of McCann for Marshall. Amoruso to De Boer. Gary Hay was well up to win that header. Dodds to De Boer, good change of direction. Missed by Gordon Marshall and by Neil McCann. There was quality there about the ball in from De Boer and Gordon Marshall was deceived by the flight charging off his line and missed it and all it needed was a touch from McCann McCann to Newman and back to Amoruso Showed too much of that in the pass to Freddy Dundela and he has it again Kukar to his right, McLaren to his left, it's Kukar. Now McLaren. Danger again for Rangers. It's an own goal. In off Arthur Newman. And surely now Kilmarnock have sealed the three points. Midway through the second half. Rangers incredibly three goals to nil down at home to Kilmarnock. Andy McLaren again doing the damage. It came off the goalkeeper Christensen into the stride of Arthur Newman and there was nothing he could do other than trundle that one into the back of the net. And a stunned silence around Ibrox. It's 3-0 Kilmarnock and some already have seen enough. Corner kick. And a little bit.
bit of keepy uppy from McLaren at the corner flag. Gets a big reception. Now the delivery, Gary Holt's header. And Jesper Christiansen plucks it out of the air. The pressure is mounting on Dick Advocat. Billy Dodd's got a flick to it. Wallace, now Kenny Miller. Good run from Kenny Miller, but ended up overrunning it slightly. Corner kick is all he gets. A great chance here to pull a goal back after the involvement of Dodds and Wallace. And there was the touch which took it away from Miller. Continent's pass. Nowhere near it for Rickson. Through the rain is Bobby Williamson just checking on his watch. And he knows that Kilmarnock aren't far away from a quite sensational result. McCann. Rod Wallace with the header. And brave goalkeeping by Gordon Marshall. And Rod Wallace is hurt here. Good ball in from McCann. Brave header from Wallace. Two guys, Kunderman. Dundala won it. Mitchell, Girard, McClellan, Varai. Good hit from Jerome Varai. Jesper Christensen was pretty solidly behind this. But again, it's Kilmarnock threatening. That just about sums it up for Rangers. A loose pass from Tugai, which Adamchuk couldn't get close to. Darius Adamczyk, who seemed to have stopped there, having lost possession. Neil McCann. Rangers lacking a spark of any sort this afternoon. And there's another poor pass from Adamczyk, which hands possession back to Kilmarnock. Gary Hay. And Jerome Verai won't catch that, it's pouring down at Ibrox and any pass played with any pace skids away. Well, the crowd started off as 49,569, but it's considerably less at this stage. A lot of Rangers fans heading home in disgust. And Alan Mahood keeps cool at the edge of the penalty box. A for Dargo, but it's some chase. Christensen straight up for Rye. And Jerome for Rye had Dargo on one side of him and Mitchell on the other. Chose to have a crack himself. And it was deflected off Amoruso for a corner kick. Need a chance there, Kilmonic, to make that four. It's almost over. New McCann. De Boer. Shot blocked by Dundala. Gets it back from two guy. Final whistle time at Ibrox. And Dick Advocat heads down the tunnel and into the dressing room. Bobby Williamson absolutely delighted as are these Kilmarnock supporters. A sensational victory for Kilmarnock at Ibrox by three goals to nil. Rangers' 20-match unbeaten run at Ibrox is shattered by the third-place team in the SPL.
and you can only wonder at what Dick Advocat will have to say to his players this time. He was furious last Sunday at the way his players performed against St Johnston at McDermott Park. Today can surely have been little better. Cooker and Holt struck for Kilmarnock in the first half and there was no doubt about what the outcome was when Arthur Newman scored an own goal midway through the second half. Rangers beaten, Kilmarnock, heroic winners here. Fairly top-notch performance from them. And Rangers could, by tomorrow afternoon, be 15 points behind in the race for the SPL title. It's Kilmarnock's day at Ibrox, winners by three goals to nil.